What I absolutely love about being an engineer is that any product I need, I can just make. You see, I'm a swimmer, and as a professional swimmer, if there's one thing you need to monitor during your training, that's your heart rate. Actually, all professional trainings are divided into three target zones that are dependent on the heart rate of the swimmer. And each one would lead you to a different result from the workout. So that would be either fat burning, or improving your general fitness, or maximizing your performance and working on building the muscles. So a professional athlete needs a combination of all three uh, during his training in order to uh, work on the entire aspects of his body and to maximize his workout. But guess what? There are no ways today for professional swimmers to monitor their heart rate while they're swimming. So when I was in the swimming team, what we did is manually count our pulse after each race. So it took us 60 seconds to get a value that we needed instantaneously and continuously during our training. And really, even when you do get that value, all you can do with it is think, oh, my heart rate is 120 now, it should have been 180. Well, next time I'll go faster. <laughs> So, being a bit of a quantified self-freak, I looked for devices that would help me do the job, but all I could find was either the watch that is coupled with the sensor belt, or a finger clip, or an ear clip, but really, when I swim, I only want to wear my swimming suit, my swimming cap, and my goggles, and do not want to add anything that creates drag in the water. So, in my last year of engineering, I took part in the Stars of Science competition, which is kind of like the Arab version of the American Inventor. And I won the third place for this, the first swimming goggles that can monitor the swimmer's heart rate in real time during his practice. <laughs> so, let, let me explain how they work. So, I'm just going to turn them on. Okay, so there's the sensor on, uh, the, on one side of the goggles that measures the heart rate from the temporal artery that runs next to the eye. And there's the batteries that are on the, on the other side. And in between, uh, there's a color-coded system that tells the swimmer where he is according to his target zone. So since it was very difficult to get a pool on stage, I'm going to show you a video of how it works instead. Okay, so how it works. So the swimmer enters his age and his target heart rate uh, through the buttons that are on the casing. And then there's a circuit board that's in this waterproof casing that compares the value between the target heart rate and the measured heart rate. And then the light goes red if the swimmer should slow down. It goes green if he's on target. And it goes yellow if he should go faster. So really, it's a very intuitive color code system, like the traffic lights, but it's the first time that the swimmer is able to track his heart rate in the water and to monitor uh, his training. So now I'm working on transforming this alien-like prototype into this. So this is all I do. I only work on this. Uh, it's a monitor that you can clip on any type of goggles, so the swimmer does not have to give up his favorite pair of goggles. And the next target is to get to this, something that is so small and that can not only measure your heart rate, but it can measure any kinds of information you, as a professional or a recreational swimmer, would want to know, such as your calories, the speed, uh, the number of laps, the number of strokes, so anything you could imagine. And I mean, the whole point of this is to get, uh, to be able to give the swimmer a self-tracking experience that is so non-invasive and so unconscious to be able to get him to have a complete assessment of his workout. So this is a prototype that I engineered based on a need I had as a swimmer. And very soon, I hope, it's going to be a product that will help uh, the millions of other swimmers in the world become quantified self-freaks like myself. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.